Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a few things to point out on the sun. We highly recommend you check out at least the first 15 minutes of last night's live show. And there are two new studies worth seeing, so let's begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring is dying down a bit. The sunspot development has staggered and stalled, leaving only half-baked or elderly spots. We do have things to monitor for the week ahead here, but the story is definitively moving away from those sunspots. As I mentioned, they stopped their rapid growth pattern and are grooving in their seat for now. By the start of next week, this big sunspot group will be at the limb, leaving only smaller, undeveloped spots. So with that, the focus shifts. We have an abundance of plasma filaments incoming with the lack of active regions. Those pose additional eruption threats, and they usually don't have a warning flare associated with them. Just got to catch them in the act. In addition to those filaments, we also have a medium-sized but perfectly equatorial coronal hole incoming as well. Eyes on space weather the next 7 to 10 days, but interestingly, more for solar wind and eruptive filaments than for solar flares. Folks, I highly recommend you catch at least the first 15 minutes of last night's live show. If you haven't been catching them, the new format is I go over all the key science first, then we do Q&A after. The science portion last night answered a lot of questions you guys have. Check it out if you missed it. Excellent study up next showing how the sun drives temperature changes in Tibet. Not only did they squeeze the data connections out of difficult coverage, but showed why these connections often get missed or glanced over as not fitting a linear relationship. It's much more of a tipping point scenario than a close-in dance. Top science news today is the first ever tropical confirmation of the Greenland Sea and Vostok excursion event 60,000 years ago. It had only ever been pegged at high latitude, but a new look at Oahu shows the event five major cycles ago and ten mini cycles ago. And as time goes on, these major events are more and more solidly confirmed the more they look to the data. We can also see that the field dropped to only about 25% of its normal strength during this event which is why this event is not one of the super bad ones. Folks, the winter tour is set. Five cities from the end of November through March. Much more than just disaster information, it's how to survive. Checklists and data packets and, of course, a Q&A. The ticket page is linked below. All of the tickets are on that same page. Just select the one you want on the list and scroll down to finish. Can't wait to see you guys out there. And we are looking for local sponsors for each of these events. Email us through the ObserverRanch.com form to sponsor one. Only two months left in the rookie season of Observer Ranch, by the way. Prepper Expo is next week. The last pole shift conference of the year is next month, the day after the documentary premiere. Come take advantage of the rookie season prices before 2026. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.